In the world of acting, few have left a mark as indelible as the actor who turned his dreams into reality. Born on January 26, 1925, in Shaker Heights, Ohio, he pursued his passion for the arts with unwavering determination. After serving in the Navy during World War II, he attended Kenyon College, where he discovered his love for acting. He later studied at the Yale School of Drama and the Actors Studio in New York City. The actor's breakout role came in 1956 with the film Somebody Up There Likes Me, where he played the lead role of Rocky Graziano. This performance catapulted him to stardom and solidified his place in Hollywood. Throughout his career, he graced the silver screen in numerous iconic films such as The Hustler, Cool Hand Luke, Butch Cassidy, and The Sundance Kid in The Verdict. He was known for his versatile acting style and his ability to captivate audiences with his captivating performances. Off screen, the actor was just as accomplished. He was a dedicated philanthropist and founded the Newman's Own Food Company, which has donated over 500 million to charitable causes. To this day, the actor's legacy resonates with audiences worldwide. His contributions to the film industry and his philanthropic endeavors continue to inspire and make a positive impact on the lives of many. Actor Paul Newman, known for his striking blue eyes and impressive career, has left a lasting impact on the film industry. With a career spanning over five decades, he has appeared in countless memorable films. Do you have a favorite performance of his? Perhaps it's his role in The Hustler, where he played a pool hustler with a heart of gold. Or maybe it's his iconic portrayal of a rebellious race car driver in Winning. Whatever your choice may be, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. So, what is it about actor Paul Newman that has made him an enduring symbol of the industry? Is it his undeniable talent and charisma? Or is it his dedication to his craft and his philanthropic efforts? We'd also love to hear any personal stories or memories you have related to this classic star. Did you have the chance to meet him? Or perhaps you saw him in a live performance? Whatever your experience, we'd love to hear about it. And stay tuned, because we'll be sharing some fun, shocking, and even sad facts about actor Paul Newman throughout this video. So, keep watching to learn more about this legendary actor. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, in 1925, the actor's childhood was marked by a move to Shaker Heights, a suburb known for its progressive values. The actor's father, Arthur Sigmund Numenesser, was a successful businessman who owned a sporting goods store. His mother, Teresa Fetzer Newman, was a homemaker with a passion for the arts. Growing up, the actor was exposed to the world of theater through his older sister, who was involved in local productions. This early exposure sparked an interest in acting that would stay with him for the rest of his life. The actor's path to stardom was not without its challenges. After serving in the Navy during World War II, he attended Kenyon College in Ohio, where he discovered a love for theater and starred in several college productions. However, he initially struggled to find work as an actor after graduation. It was during this time that the actor met two mentors who would have a profound impact on his career. The first was a fellow actor named Carl Malden, who encouraged him to continue pursuing his dream and introduced him to influential figures in the industry. The second was a director named James Whitmore, who cast him in his first professional role on Broadway. Throughout his career, the actor would continue to be influenced by a wide range of artists and activists, from Marlon Brando and James Dean to Martin Luther King Jr. and the Civil Rights Movement. These influences would shape not only his acting style, but also his commitment to social justice and activism. The actor, widely recognized for his striking blue eyes, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Born in 1925, he served in the U.S. Navy during World War II before pursuing a career in acting. His breakthrough role came in 1956 with Somebody Up There Likes Me, where he showcased his talent and charisma. This film marked the beginning of a series of critically acclaimed performances, including The Long, Hot Summer, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and The Hustler. The actor's contribution to Hollywood extends beyond his on-screen performances. He was a co-founder of Newman's Own, a food company that donates all post-tax profits to charity. This philanthropic endeavor has raised over $500 million for various causes. In the 1980s, the actor turned his passion for racing into a successful career as a professional driver, competing in numerous races, and even winning several championships. He also established the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp 
a nonprofit organization providing free summer camps for children with serious illnesses. Despite his success in various fields, the actor remained humble and committed to his craft. He continued to act in films such as The Verdict, Nobody's Fool, and Road to Perdition, earning critical acclaim and accolades for his performances. In summary, the actor's influence on the film industry and beyond is undeniable. His talent, philanthropy, and dedication to his craft have left a lasting impact on Hollywood and the world. Ever since the actor was a young boy, he had always been drawn to the world of performing. At the age of seven, he was cast as the court jester in his school's production of Robin Hood. This experience ignited a spark within him, and he knew that he wanted to pursue a career in acting. During his teenage years, the actor's passion for the craft only grew stronger. He would often put on shows for his family and friends, using whatever props and costumes he could find around the house. His family recognized his talent and encouraged him to pursue his dreams. The actor's big break came when he was cast in a small role in a Broadway show. Although the part was small, he made the most of it and caught the attention of a Hollywood agent. This led to a screen test and eventually his first film role. From there, the actor's career took off. He became known for his rugged good looks and intense acting style. He starred in a number of successful films, including The Hustler, Cool Hand Luke, and Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid. Despite his success, the actor remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to take on challenging roles and push himself as an artist. His passion for acting never waned, and he remained a fixture in the film industry until the end of his career. Throughout his life, the actor's love for performing never faded. He once said, I have never been bored in my life. Every day has been a challenge and a learning experience. It was this passion and dedication that made him one of the most beloved actors of his time. In the film Humber, intense rainstorms presented significant challenges during production. To pass the time, the actor, Paul Newman, engaged in activities such as playing tennis, drinking, and having body conversations with his co-star Martin Balsam. In Cool Hand Luke, the cast included several notable actors. Among them were Paul Newman, who played the lead role of Lucas Luke Jackson, as well as three Oscar winners George Kennedy, Joe Van Fleet, and Dennis Hopper, who was an Oscar nominee. During the filming of The Silver Chalice, the actor and director Victor Saville had a disagreement over a scene that was eventually cut from the final film. In the scene, the actor's character, Bezel, was to receive a divine revelation that inspired him to craft the chalice. The script included a lengthy speech for Bezel to express his feelings, but the actor believed that it would be more effective if he simply contemplated the vision in silence. Despite his reservations, the actor felt pressured to follow the director's instructions, which he later regretted. Despite facing financial struggles early in life, the actor remained determined to pursue his passion for the arts. Born into a large family, he witnessed his father's business collapse during the Great Depression, which deeply affected him. However, instead of letting this hardship hold him back, he found solace in acting. As a young man, the actor faced skepticism from the industry. He struggled to find work and was often rejected due to his lack of experience and connections, but he refused to give up. Instead, he honed his craft by taking acting classes and performing in small theater productions. One of the actor's biggest breaks came when he landed a role in a television show. Although the pay was minimal, it provided him with the exposure he needed to gain the attention of filmmakers. He continued to work hard, taking on any role he could, no matter how small. The actor's resilience paid off when he was cast in a leading role in a major film. His performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, and he quickly became a household name. Despite his newfound fame, he remained humble and dedicated to his craft. Throughout his career, the actor faced numerous challenges, but he always found a way to overcome them. He was known for his creativity and willingness to take risks, which helped him to stand out in a competitive industry. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of following one's dreams, no matter the obstacles. In 2005, Premiere Magazine ranked the actor as the sixth greatest movie star of all time, highlighting his undeniable impact on the film industry. But acting wasn't his only talent. Few people know that he was also a skilled jazz and blues piano player, just like Clint Eastwood. A photograph exists, capturing him playing while Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin sing, with Robert Mitchum and James Garner looking on. 
One of his most memorable roles was as Lucas Luke Jackson in Cool Hand Luke. His Best Actor Oscar nominated performance was not part of a Best Picture nominee that year, making it a unique achievement in the annals of Hollywood history. The actor's portrayal of Luke Jackson remains a classic example of his exceptional talent and ability to bring complex characters to life on the big screen. After serving in the Navy during World War II, the actor enrolled in Kenyon College with a focus on drama. His passion for acting led him to study at the Yale School of Drama and the Actor Studio in New York City. A significant breakthrough moment for the actor came in 1953 when he appeared in his first professional stage production, Picnic, on Broadway. His performance caught the attention of Hollywood, and he soon signed a contract with Warner Brothers in 1956. The actor starred in the film Somebody Up There Likes Me, which earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a rising star. The film, based on the true story of boxer Rocky Graziano, allowed the actor to showcase his charisma and physical prowess. One of the actor's most iconic roles was in the 1961 film The Hustler, where he played fast Eddie Felsen, a pool hustler with a troubled past. His performance was highly praised by critics, and he received his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. In 1967, the actor starred in Cool Hand Luke, a film that became a cultural phenomenon and cemented his status as a leading man. His portrayal of a nonconformist, rebellious character resonated with audiences and earned him his second Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The actor's career continued to flourish throughout the 1970s and 1980s with notable roles in films such as The Sting, Slapshot, and The Color of Money, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Throughout his career, the actor was known for his dedication to his craft and his commitment to social causes. He founded the Newman's Own Food Company, which donated all profits to charity and was a longtime advocate for children's health and education. In the words of his collaborator and friend, director Martin Scorsese, Paul Newman was a great actor, a true original, and a wonderful man. He was a consummate professional, always prepared, always focused, and always ready to explore new territory as an artist. After finding success in the film industry, the actor was known to visit the Ralph Helfer Africa USA, exotic animal ranch in Soledad Canyon, California regularly during weekends. He enjoyed helping with chores and interacting with the animals. One of the actor's notable roles was in the film The Towering Inferno, where he played Doug Roberts. Despite negative comments from some cast and crew members who criticized the film as dumb and stupid, it became a massive box office hit worldwide, earning nearly 10 times its production cost. The actor and his co-star, Steve McQueen, received a substantial sum from the film's earnings as they were given a percentage of the box office gross. In June 2002, the actor returned to live theater after 35 years, appearing in Thornton Wilder's Our Town at the Westport Country Playhouse near his Connecticut home. He took on the role of the stage manager and directed the show with his wife, Joanne Woodward, serving as the Playhouse's artistic director at the time. To help subsidize the Playhouse, which is located next door, the actor opened a restaurant called Dressing Room with co-owner and chef Michael Nishin in Westport. The actor, known for his piercing blue eyes, was born in 1925 and developed an early interest in acting. However, it was his experience in the military that truly shaped his worldview. After serving in World War II, he returned home with a newfound appreciation for life and a desire to make a difference through his work. This perspective was reflected in his approach to acting, which was characterized by a deep commitment to his craft and a dedication to portraying complex, nuanced characters. He once said, I have to find some truth in what I do, or I can't do it. That's the only way I know. This dedication to authenticity was evident in every role he played, from the tough-as-nails boxer and somebody up there likes me to the cool and calculating pool shark and the hustler. The actor's personal experiences also influenced his work behind the camera. He produced and directed several films, including Rachel, Rachel, and the effect of gamma rays on man in the moon marigolds both of which explored themes of personal growth and self-discovery. These films were praised for their sensitivity and emotional depth, reflecting the actor's own values and worldview. In addition to his work in film, the actor was also known for his philanthropy. He founded the Newman's Own Food Company, which donated all of its profits to charitable organizations. This commitment to giving back was a reflection of the actor's belief in using his platform for good 
and it has left a lasting impact on countless lives. Overall, the actor's unique approach to acting was characterized by his dedication to authenticity, his exploration of complex themes, and his commitment to making a difference in the world. His work continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a testament to his enduring talent and impact. In 1975, the film The Iger Sanction was initially designed for the actor's showcase. However, the project took a different direction when the actor declined the lead role in Sorcerer two years later, which was then offered to Roy Scheider. A notable example of the actor's humility is seen in the movie The Towering Inferno, where his name and Steve McQueen's are cleverly staggered in the opening and closing credits, as well as on the posters. This unique arrangement ensured that both actors seemed to share the top billing, regardless of whether the names were read from top to bottom or left to right. This strategy was also being considered for Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969, but McQueen eventually dropped out and Robert Redford took his place. This anecdote illustrates the actor's respect for his peers and his willingness to share the spotlight, further highlighting his professionalism and modesty in an industry often criticized for its egocentric nature. The actor's career is marked by such considerate gestures and a genuine passion for his craft. The actor, renowned for his striking blue eyes, made a significant impact in the film industry. His career spanned over five decades, with his first film role in 1954. According to Richard Skickle, a film critic and historian, he had an extraordinary sense of presence, both on and off screen. The actor's contribution extended beyond his on-screen performances. He was a race car driver, a philanthropist, and an entrepreneur. His charitable work particularly the creation of the Newman's Own brand, which donates all profits to charity, is a testament to his generosity. In terms of acting, the actor was known for his versatility. He excelled in various genres, from drama to comedy, and his performances were often marked by a certain coolness and charm. His work in films like The Hustler, Hud, and Cool Hand Luke remains iconic. The actor's influence can be seen in the trends and techniques of subsequent generations. His naturalistic acting style, which contrasted with the more theatrical styles of earlier actors, became increasingly prevalent. As director Martin Scorsese noted, he was a pioneer in terms of method acting he brought a new kind of realism to the screen. Moreover, the actor's off-screen persona, marked by his activism and philanthropy, also had a significant impact. As actor and director Ed Harris noted, he was a role model not just as an actor, but as a human being. In conclusion, the actor's contribution to the film industry, his philanthropy, and his influence on subsequent generations make him a significant figure in the history of American cinema. In The Macintosh Man, actor played Reardon in a movie with similarities to Escape Route. The plot had Roger Moore in actor's role and Donald Sutherland in Bannon's role. Eric Mason had small parts in both the movie and the television episode. The story involves outsiders helping prisoners escape likely inspired by real-world events like the prison breaks of Ronald Biggs and Charles Wilson in 1965. In Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, actors saw George Roy Hill's desk in half over an unpaid liquor bill. For the role in WSA, actor researched by spending time at radio station KMPC in Los Angeles with Ken Levine, who later worked on MASH, showing him around. Outside of his acting career, the actor had a rich personal life. He was a family man, married to his second wife, Joanne Woodward, for 50 years until his death in 2008. They had three daughters together and adopted a son. The actor was also known for his love of auto racing and even founded his own racing team, Newman House Racing, in 1983. He was a skilled driver and competed in numerous races throughout his life. But perhaps what the actor will be most remembered for is his philanthropic efforts. He was passionate about various causes, including the environment, education, and children's health. In 1982, he established the Newman's Own Foundation, which donates 100% of its profits to charitable organizations. The actor was also involved in various other philanthropic endeavors, such as co-founding the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp, a summer camp for children with serious illnesses. He was a strong advocate for social justice, and even testified before Congress in support of legislation to protect children from lead poisoning. The actor's personal values and interests often informed his work as an actor. For example, he starred in the film Hood in 1963, which explores themes of morality, 
and the corrupting influence of power. The actor's own values as a champion of social justice may have informed his portrayal of the character Hud Bannon, a ruthless and immoral rancher. In addition, the actor's love of auto racing inspired his performance in the film winning in 1969, in which he played a race car driver. The actor's own experiences as a driver likely contributed to the authenticity of his performance. Overall, the actor's personal life and values were deeply intertwined with his professional career. His philanthropic efforts, love of auto racing, and commitment to social justice all informed his work as an actor and left a lasting impact on the world. In the film The Pride, the actor arrived on a Boeing 707 that had a notable history. This was the actual Pan Am aircraft that had brought the Beatles to New York for their American debut in 1964. During the filming of The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean, the actor made an unexpected appearance at a Dublin bar named Judge Roy Bean's. Upon entering, he revealed to the patrons that he had played the role of Judge Roy Bean. The barman mentioned a nightclub above the bar called Lily's Bordello, and the actor immediately recognized Ava Gardner's image on the poster, exclaiming that she had played Lily. The actor played the character Lou Harper in the film Harper, which was the first of four movies he made with Strother Martin. The other films were Cool Hand Luke in 1967, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969, and Slapshot in 1977. Reflecting on the actor's legacy, it's clear that he left an indelible mark on the industry. With a career spanning decades, he captivated audiences through his work in film and on stage. His dedication to his craft was evident in every performance, making him a true inspiration for aspiring professionals. Throughout his career, the actor was known for his versatility and ability to take on a wide range of roles. From his early days on stage to his iconic performances in films like The Hustler and Cool Hand Luke, he consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. When it comes to his future contributions, it's important to remember that his impact on the industry extends far beyond his own work. Through his philanthropic efforts and commitment to giving back, he inspired countless others to do the same. His legacy is not just about the roles he played, but also about the positive change he brought to the world. For aspiring professionals in the field, the actor's advice would be to stay true to yourself and never stop learning. He once said, if you don't fail every now and again, you're not trying. Embrace challenges and don't be afraid to take risks. It's through these experiences that you'll grow and develop your own unique style and voice. In the end, the actor's legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance, passion, and a commitment to excellence. His work will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come, inspiring future generations of artists to pursue their dreams and make their own mark on the world. In the film Somebody Up There Likes Me, the actor played the role of Rocky alongside Sal Mineo who portrayed Romulo. Interestingly, both actors later appeared in Exodus in 1960. The making of this film was a unique experience for the actor, as he noted that it was unlike working in Hollywood, where Grips played poker with no idea what the movie was about. The actor's college years were also significant, as he became friends with Olaf Palme, who would later become the Prime Minister of Sweden. They attended Kenyon College in Ohio during the 1940s, forming a friendship that would last for years. Overall, the actor's experiences in film and in his personal life shaped his career and contributed to his enduring legacy in the world of cinema. The actor, known for his striking blue eyes, began his journey in the entertainment industry in the early 1950s. With a relentless passion for acting, he honed his craft in various stage productions before transitioning to the big screen. Throughout his career, the actor consistently pushed boundaries and challenged himself with diverse roles, from a ruthless pool hustler in The Hustler to a love-struck race car driver in Winning. His innovative approach to his work earned him numerous accolades, including an Academy Award for his leading role in The Color of Money. Beyond his on-screen performances, the actor was also a dedicated philanthropist. He founded the Newman's Own Food Company, which donated all profits to charitable organizations leaving a lasting impact on countless lives. The actor's enduring legacy continues to resonate within the entertainment industry, inspiring future generations of performers to pursue their passions with unwavering determination and creativity. Indeed, the power of creativity and perseverance can leave an indelible mark on the world. As you reflect on the actor's career, consider the impact he left on the film industry. 
With his piercing blue eyes and undeniable charm, he captured audiences' hearts in various roles. From his early work in The Hustler to his iconic performance in Cool Hand Luke, his characters resonated deeply. The actor's dedication to his craft was evident in every project he undertook. He breathed life into complex characters, making them relatable and memorable. His ability to balance intense drama with lighthearted comedy showcased his versatility as an artist. Apart from his on-screen presence, the actor was also known for his philanthropy. He used his fame to make a difference in the world, which further solidified his legacy. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on this remarkable actor's work and legacy in the comments below. Tell us about your favorite performances or moments that have stayed with you over the years. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Let's keep the conversation going.